Hey guys, Joe Tunney at Infinity of Kirkland in Kirkland, Washington, just outside of Seattle. For those of you outside of our market, taking a look on eBay, cars.com, Auto Trader, and the like. We're taking a look at a car we just got in. It's a 2013 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution GSR with just 1,000 miles. And if you've watched our videos in the past, we tend to focus on the performance characteristics, the horsepower, and what have you. But on these most recent uh, productions that we've done, because such a heavy number of our deals are suddenly out of state and across the country, across Canada, and even to countries around the world, we're trying to focus more on the actual condition of the car so you can see from your home or office with pinpoint clarity exactly what's going on interior-wise, exterior-wise, scratches, rock chips, what have you, so that you can feel more comfortable. If anything catches your eye that you'd like more detail about, please don't hesitate to ask. Just say, hey, I want some more photographs of this, this, or this. I want some questions answered. Something sounds like BS to me, or I feel uncomfortable about what I'm seeing or hearing. I'd like a video presented in an entirely different way. Just let us know. This is what we do for a living, and we're happy to accommodate. Now, let's take a look at this particular car. It has only 1,000 miles, but of course, it could be the roughest 1,000 miles a car has ever seen. High performance exotics like this tend to have uh, colorful experiences in their life. And although this one appears to be magnificent, uh, and again, just 1,000 miles, if we take a close up look, let's see if we find anything that uh, leads us to conclude otherwise. If I look at the front bumper area here, I'm going to feel around for rock chips. And other than this just minuscule uh, pinprick right there, I'm not seeing anything. If I look at this corner right here, I see maybe, gosh, a quarter of an inch, not even that much, of a little bit of a scuff right there, and then another one, just teeny, teeny, tiny, and it might not be even picking up on the camera, but the uh, just to point it out to you. If I look at the hood, there's uh, no rock chips that I'm discovering. A little piece of dirt right there. And there is one rock chip right at the top here. Again, it's quite small, but the uh, if the camera can't pick it up, You'll just have to take my word for it. There is a little rock chip right there. Again, if I come through here, I see just a little bit of a rock chip right there. And it's right alongside the black. It's an easy one to miss. And then if I come around, I don't see anything at all. Everything looks nice and clean. Underneath everything again, the mesh grill, everything looks quite nice. Coming around on the driver's side, if we take a look at the wheels, we're going to look for curb rash. There is no curb rash. We're going to look for, you know, wear, uh, unusual wear on the tires. There is no unusual wear on the tires. Sidewall damage, anything like that. There's nothing like that at all. If I come to the driver's side here, I see a, a little justification for chastising my detail department, but no wear of any kind. Seat bolsters, of course, we're looking to see if the seat bolsters have inconsistent wear. Maybe a heavier driver will kind of plop their rear end down here and wore things out prematurely. We don't have any kind of problems like that. Back seat looks perfect, as it should. And then the rear wheel, again, a little bit dirty for my taste, but the uh, no scratches of any kind. Tires look fantastic. Let me pull the remote trunk release. No door dings, nothing like that at all. No wear on the bumper itself. Nothing going on here that looks inconsistent in any way. And then no screws turned. That's a, a big must look at uh, feature. You always want to know if the screws have been turned on a car. It's the easiest way in the world to tell if a car's been in an accident. If the screws are turned, that's bad. These screws have not been turned, and at a minimum, we expect that. If I look at the profile of the passenger side, everything looks fantastic. I see there's a little bit of a rub right there. That's not going to come off with my uh, fingernail, but the uh, again, it might not be able to be caught on camera, but uh, just take my word for it, it is there. Mirrors look just fine, the roof looks just fine. The wheels, again, no curb rash, no unusual wear. Doors and door panels look excellent. Front passenger wheel looks excellent, and uh, nowhere, no scratches of any kind on any of the wheels. Again, a little bit of dirt, but that's okay. I'm gonna come around inside. Seats feel great. Let me turn the car on. Everything sounds great, shifter shifts great. Of a, what they 
call a mottled finish. And the mottled finish the, uh, has its own personality, but above and beyond that, I can see just a little bit of wear on that ship. That's an easy remedy on that one. The dashboard looks completely original. Uh, if I take a deep breath, I'm not smelling any smoke, fragrance, chemicals. You know, sometimes people put the tree in the car, and, uh, and that can leave its own little signature. It, nothing like that at all. Everything feels great. Everything smells great. No dogs, no unusual uh, vibes to be discovered from this car. No stains, no spilled coffee, nothing like that at all. You expect a 1,000 mile car to be perfect, and you should. In the case of this car, it, uh, it lives up to expectations. A couple of little rock chips uh, about the periphery. Interior looks fabulous. God, these seats are simply fantastic. Recaro seats are, uh, they're the best in the business, but these particular seats fit me just fine. This is a really nice car. Again, only 1,000 miles. If you have any questions at all, something uh, you're concerned about the rock chips, you're concerned about uh, whatever it is that uh, we've talked about, please don't hesitate to ask. Say, hey, I want some specific photographs. I want a little bit more detailed information. And we will absolutely send it to your email. We'll fax it to you. Anything you want, we're here to serve you. My name is Joe Tunney. Feel free to call me anytime here at the dealership, 425-821-1600, or email me anytime.